respected dear family members we are explaining the indian cultural messages as quoted by swami vivekananda from upanishads from vedas from our epics darshanas and puranas they are in fact the essence of hinduism they are the cream of hindu dharma when i explained these messages with the quotations from ancient indian literature many people called me and said this is the best way to inform the people about hindu dharma instead of telling that thing was here this thing is here or this is what they meant taking the quotations or quoting the quotations and explaining it with the remarks of one of the greatest rishis of india swami vivekananda so i would like to continue that explanation <clears throat> Swami Vivekananda has told <clears throat> meditation means the mind is turned back upon itself so it is called yoga chitta vritti nirodah meditation is blocking the mental attitude and bringing back the mind to ourself ourself meditation means the mind turned back upon itself bringing the mind to the mind so chitta vritti nirodah the mind stops all the thought waves and the world stops when you are stopping the thoughts and when you stop thinking then external world is zero for you that is chitta vritti nirodah <clears throat> your consciousness expands every time you meditate you will keep your growth the mind will grow psychological growth the experiential growth sat chitta anandam that will also be elevated to a higher level the moment you meditate meditate by focusing inside meditate by focusing your own consciousness it is said that the mind expands the thought level expands the wisdom expands the intelligence will be definitely expanding neither seek nor avoid take whatever is coming so you should do the pravarti pravarti means doing the things and marching forward doing the things and marching forward and remember that neither seek don't expect anything nor avoid anything whatever is coming whatever is coming you should face that and prepare your mind for facing that instead of crying instead of weeping instead of laughing instead of getting excited instead of getting depressed face whatever is coming and it is liberty to be affected by nothing remember that whatever is coming you will have to face that there is no other alternative do not merely endure be unattached <clears throat> here swami vivekananda what he meant is be unbonded attachment is needed with our family the society the nation attachment is needed but bondage is not needed if bondage is there then that will give back some type of pain some type of despair sorrow say for example if the conductor of a bus continuously gives tickets to the passengers many passengers will be entering into the bus and many passengers will be getting out of the bus but the conductor is attached to the number of his ticket conductor is attached to the money that he is giving conductor is attached to the balance money he is paying conductor is attached to the calmness inside the bus conductor is very much seriously attached with the performance of the driver but he is not bonded with that he never get excited when more people enter into the bus 
he never become despair when people get out of the bus he is not bonded with that at the same time he is attached so yajna arthat karmano nyatra logo yam karma bandhana tadartam karma gaundeya mukta sangha samachara so perform every duty your dharma as yajna as a sacrifice and if you are bonded with that then you will be worried about it etnya arthat karmano nyatra logo yam karma bandhana tad artham because of that karma kaundeya do your work mukta sangha samajara without any bondage perform your work <coughs> so whatever is coming you take it whatever is going you leave it you came here and you will have to leave from here so you are not permanent i am not permanent here nothing is permanent here everything is temporary here only permanent thing in this world is that everything is temporary one who learns or leans on others cannot serve the god of truth so don't lean upon others don't lean upon others you have to live by yourself stand your right that is the meaning of uttishtada you have to stand by yourself you have to stand by yourself don't stand on others feet don't try to put your hand on others shoulder they will not support you you have to support yourself you have to look after yourself so don't lean upon others those who are leaning those who are slaves those who are weak those who need other support they cannot realize what is meant by the god out of purity and silence comes the word of power when you are silent mauna that mauna vyakhya asyama when you are silent for a long period and then you start talking one or two lines people will be eagerly waiting for you suppose you are continuously talking people will not bother after some time so the less you speak the more will be the intensity of the impact of speaking so out of purity purity of the mind shuddham shuddhe na samna shuddhai ruddhai vaavrdham sam shuddha aashirvad mamado indra shuddho hinorayam shuddho ratnani daashushe shuddho vrtrani jignade shuddho vadam shishasa let your mind be pure let your body be pure let your words be pure let your vision be pure let your approach be pure let the pathway that you are selecting be pure and let the goal be pure so purity on all aspect that is needed and silence silence that is the best method sometimes not talking will be having more impact than talking silence will be more powerful than conversation or dialogue so that is what we say maunam vyakya asyama the maunam can be um, interpreted in many many ways and from that maunam and purity comes the power power of the word so the word should be very powerful for which enough exercise is to be done through silence and through purity of mind we are the infinite already and i myself is that about uh, the the manifestation of the god you are the infinity you are the infinity anandam parama atma chaitanya parama we the word means without boundary param means without boundary and paramatma chaitanya and i am the manifestation of that paramatma chaitanya aham brahmasmi god is not outside god is inside so i am the manifestation of that infinity you and i and all beings are trying to manifest that infinity so we are demonstrating our capacity we are demonstrating our mind we are demonstrating our vision we are demonstrating everything connected with ourselves and also everything connected with others others to demonstrate that we i and you are infinity it is the embodiment of infinity ananda that is why it is called that mahavishnu is lying on ananda sarpa sarpand ananda sarpa ananda means infinity without any beginning and without any ending it is told that when namdam namadhyam na punastavadim 
there is no beginning for that na anda there is no end for that na madhyam there is no middle point for that one punastavadin adi the beginning point is not there end point is not there middle point is there that is what is called andam nandam na madhyam na punastavadi so remember that i and you and we the spiritual way of explanation we are the manifestation and manipulation of infinite divine power please everyone without becoming a hypocrite or a coward please everyone make everyone happy please everyone without becoming a hypocrite or a coward you have to make others happy pashyema sharadasyam tell them that when i would like to meet you for the 100 years jeevayama sharadas tell him that when i am praying for you that you should live for 100 years modeyama sharadasyam let you enjoy the life happily so we always used to see, uh, see that what others should be happy when others are happy automatically we are part of others so we should be happy and everyone should be happy that is what what is called navo navo bhavati jayamano annam kedrusha hametya gram bhagam deve pyo vidada atyayan prachandrama sthirate dirgam ayuhu dirgam ayuhu let you live a long long enjoyable life let you make your life a heavenly one so your duty is to make others also happy my duty is to make others happy my duty is to make others contented and creating satisfaction in their life through words or through deeds that is what it is called that one it is always called sthirai rangaihi tushtu vagam sasthano virveshema devashitam yadayuko you have got a body and you have got a strong organs and you have got the power will to work and you have got the energy and the time utilize that and do good thing for others devashitam yadayu as long as you live here in this world you do divine activities continuously so that others will be happy be strong my young friends that is my advice to you so strength is the one what india always advocated be strong dheera shrunvandu vishwe amrutasya putra amrutasya putra you are the children of immortals dheera become bold man you become courageous so nahi suptasya simhasya pravishandi muge mruga a lion will not get its food if it is sleeping no animal will come to the lion and say you can eat me you are the king of the wild forest no the lion has to work for its own food so be bold enough courageous enough do hard work to succeed you must have tremendous perseverance tremendous will and your mental power mana eva manushyanam karanam bandha mokshayo bandhaya vishaya asaktam muktam nirvishayam smritam your mind if it is powerful your thoughts will be powerful then the action will be powerful if your mind is weak the thoughts will be weak and your action will be weak if your mind is truthful your thoughts will be truthful and action will be truthful if your mind is under desperate condition your thoughts will be desper- uh, demonstrating that desperate condition and your action will also be accompanying that so tremendous will power is needed you should have the feeling that i will drink the ocean says the persevering soul at my will the mind if it is so strong the mind will say i will do anything i will do anything kim karaniyam that question does not explain it does not arise kim karaniyam what should i do that question is not that do whatever is given to you do whatever mission you have undertaken do whatever is possible to you never wait for others to come never lean upon others go ahead you are strong you should not be weak you are strong enough perseverance should be there chamaya daritri just like earth has got the perseverance you should also have the patience and perseverance do hard work you will reach to the destiny mountains will crumble up if you have got the will power to do that 
mountains will crumble up have that sort of energy so become energized be that electricity in you that sort of will should be there i will do anything i will do everything whatever is possible within the human limit not within my limitation i will do work hard and you will reach the goal work hard that is karmanyeva te adhikaraha your responsibility is in doing your activities and your action karmani tyajyade vyajyade prashna pratnyaha karmani vyajyade pratnyaha this is what upanishad tells the pratnyaha the greatest scholars continuously do work they will be immersed in work karma yoga there is karma yoga lokesmin vividha nishta pura prukta maya nagha ज्ञान योगेन सांख्या कर्म योगेन योगिना सो रिमेबर दट कर्म योगी दे विल बी कंटिन्यूअसली डूइंग द वर्क जस्ट लाइक एवरी डे सन राइजस एंड सन मूव जस्ट लाइक द वेव्स विल नेवर स्टॉप इन द ओशियन जस्ट लाइक द विंड विल बी कंटिन्यूअसली ब्लोइंग जस्ट लाइक द अर्थ इज रोटेटिंग एंड रिवॉल्विंग अराउंड द सन एंड बाय इट सेल्फ दैट अर्थ विल नेवर स्टॉप द सन राइज एंड सन सेट विल नेवर स्टॉप द वेव्स विल नेवर स्टॉप and the wind will never stop it will be going on doing its work every animal will be continuously doing its work so you also do the hard work be not in despair never worry too much about anything don't be sorrow don't be sad the way is very difficult like walking on the edge of a razor like walking on an edge of a razor this is kadopanishad churasya dhara nishita adiratyaya durgam patas tat kavayo vadanti churasya dhara churasya dhara means the razor blade of a barber of a barber chura means a barber dhara nishita durate it is just like walking on the sharpest edge of a razor blade um, razor blade everything whatever you have to undertake as a mission it is not that easy to accomplish it everywhere problem will be there problem is there problem should be there not only for us even a dog for searching its food it should have it will be facing the problems even a cow will be facing a problem even the birds will be facing the problem even even a worm will be facing the problem because they have to protect themselves from other birds other animals and day and night the rain and the summer and the winter they have they are facing the problem every tree is facing the problem whether you know it or not secondary thing so remember that yet despair not don't worry too much about it don't worry too much about arise uttishtata evik jagrata and find the ideal the goal prapya varanni bodada so gloriously stand up remember that you are not permanent here and acquire knowledge from the scholars and enlighten yourself and march forward towards your goal the correct meaning of the statement the vedas are beginningless and eternal the vedas are beginningless and eternal the meaning of that is that the law of truth revealed by them is permanent and changeless so veda means knowledge veda means knowledge absolute knowledge just like we say earth is a globe it will not change gravity makes the things fall to earth that will not change the sun rises in the morning or morning means the sun rising time that will not change the climate may be changing but day of, day of raining starting the monsoon starting the winter starting the summer and a flowering season these are all universal truth they will remain veda gives a universal truth just like we say loka samasta sugino bhavandu let everyone become happy that is the universal truth ano bhadraha kratavo yantu vishuda let noble thoughts come towards us from all over the world that is the universal truth that is the universal truth dhruva dhyauga dhruva prativi dhruva sa parvadai me let this earth remain as a glorious place for living let those mountains bless these human beings in this world let the oceans bestow their blessings to the living beings so the vedas means beginningless and eternal that is the meaning of vedas our misery comes not from work when you are working the misery will never come from the work 
the work will not provide you misery the sorrow the sadness or the happiness but by our getting attached to that something that the problem getting ourselves bonded with that if you are bonded with a work the worry will come the sorrow will come the depression will come tension will come but suppose you are you are undertaking that work work will never create you pleasure or pressure work attitude towards that work bondage with that work creates the problem for you in every attempt there will be one set of men who will applaud you and another set who will pick holes on you always remember that sama shatrau jamitreja tadamana abamana yoho sida ushna sugha dukkeshu samasanga vivarjita there will be people who will be appreciating you there will be people who will be depreciating and criticizing you there will be people who will be working with you there will be people who will be working against you there will be people who will be supporting you and there will be people who will be deporting you i am using a wrong word so these are all part of the life never expect that only south pole should be there for the earth if south pole is there for the earth inevitably north pole will be there if one electron revolves in the clockwise direction other electron will definitely be revolving anti clockwise anti clockwise if the sun rises is there sunset is there just like that tulya ninda astudir mauni santushto yena kena jid somebody will be appreciating you promoting you they will be blessing you they will be guiding you they will be encouraging you exactly like that the opposite will also be there some people will be degrading you denigrating you belittling you they will be tarnishing you they will be making fun of you these two are the practical spirituality and practical life in the world so remember that in every attempt there will be one set of men who will be applauding you appreciating you and another will always be finding holes upon you the great quality of bhakti is that it cleans the mind the re- bhakti means devotion dedication and sincerity bhakti means devotion dedication and sincerity we should not be god fearing people we should be god loving people god fearing is the criminal attitude many people are afraid of policemen because they have committed the crimes and mistakes people are afraid of police because they have committed crime and mistakes or they have they might have disobeyed the rules and laws but common man is not afraid of police why because they are not they have not done anything negative so if you are afraid of god fearful towards god fear towards god is a negative term because you are afraid of god means you have committed the sin as long as you have not committed any sin why you are afraid of the god if you are obeying the rules and laws of the country why you are worried about the policeman you need not worry about that right so always remember that the great quality of devotion dedication and sincerity bhakti is it purify the mind but demonstrative bhakti will never purify the mind it is the bhakti that is mame vaishya di satyam te pratijane priyosime sarva dharman parityajya mame ekam sharanam vraja aham twa sarva bhave bhyo moksha ishyami ma sucha o arjuna i tell you one thing now it is time for you to perform your duty perform your duty without hesitation you are expected to do your duty you are expected to fulfill your dharma and you offer everything to me don't think about dharma dharma and do hard work do your do your work i will see that you will be protected from all sins all sins s i n s so remember that you will be protected by the nature if you have got devotion dedication and sincerity if you are a real bhakta as long as we require someone else to make us happy we are slaves don't expect others will be making you happy any other thing will not give you permanent happiness any other relatives any other friends any other people will cannot create permanent happiness the happiness should come from inside you the music will have to go through the ears inside the good scenery should go through the eyes inside 
the good smell should go through the nose inside the good tasteful food should go from outside to inside the good climatic cold condition should go inside through your skin so ears eyes nose tongue and skin are the input centers for our body whereas output center is the mind the happiness should come from inside so remember that don't depend upon others for making you happy a uh, character is repeated habits and repeated habits alone can reform character so do good things make it a habit that you are doing good things good things good things doing good things talking good things discussing good things uh, doing good things uh, and uh, aiming good things marching forward for good things you will become good your habit will become good your character will become good character and habit are complementary to each other good habits creates good character good character creates a good habits no civilization grow unless fanaticism bloodshed and brutality stops i need not explain to you fanaticism will definitely create problem whether it is from hinduism whether it is from christianity whether it is from sikh whether it is from muslim or islam or anything fanaticism should be avoided you should not become a brand a mad man for your religion bloodshed should be avoided bloodshed will be dragging back the human civilization and brutality towards anything any living being should be avoided and remember that if you are cruel to others naturally the nature will give you back for every action there will be an equal and opposite reaction if you are cruel to others if you behave through the brutality way the nature will also be rewarding you punishing you exactly in the same coin the power of concentration is the only key to the treasure house of knowledge get yourself concentrated tyage naige amrutatva manasuho so remember that your concentration your shraddha 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 through which you can acquire any boundless knowledge that for which you need shraddha it is the culture that which stands shocks not a simple mass of knowledge remember that you may be knowledgeable person does not mean anything you may be a scholar does not mean anything you may be a great man does not mean anything but the culture your culture the culture of the people the culture of the society the culture of the country the culture of the nation that protects you from every negatives so remember that our our hindu dharma that has given tremendous tremendous input for our becoming bold and courageous it belongs to all 125 crore people of india let leftist to rule the country let the rightist to rule the country let the middleist to rule the country does not matter anything people will be coming and people will be going rulers will come and rulers will go but this country will remain and the society will remain remain and our culture will remain you are the embodiment of that culture this is what swami vivekananda tells kept up be bold enough remember that one day you will die whether you work or you do not work you will die one day death is inevitable because birth was inevitable you have born if date of birth is there date of death is there swami vivekananda tells us preparation for living is not life preparation for living is not life experience of living is life face the obstacles face the negatives face the criticism face the bad part of the life then only we will become strong strong enough to stand the bad thing thank you very much my pranam to you